Hi there! I've got something big to talk about today. Something that will make you see your art career from a totally new perspective. Ready for it? Okay, let's dive in. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. So we're talking about the business side of art. Yeah, I can see you raising your eyebrows already. What business? I'm an artist. I don't do numbers, spreadsheets or finance. I create. That's what you're thinking, right? Well, buckle up because we are talking business today. So it might feel unfamiliar and even a bit uncomfortable at first, but it's necessary and here's why. Remember how you're putting yourself and your art out there on Instagram? You're showing up, pouring your heart and soul into your work and letting the world see it. But let's be real, that's more to the art world than creating beautiful pieces, right? You're not just an artist, you're also a business person. And your art? Well, that's your product, your service, basically your artist brand. And you've got to treat it like one. Now, I know this might be hitting a nerve, but stay with me here. Because understanding this side of your art career will transform your life in ways you can't even imagine yet. This is a secret ingredient that basically is going to take you from starving artist to successful entrepreneur. Look, I get it. This isn't what you sign up for when you decided to become an artist. But think about it. Isn't the ultimate goal to create art that you love and get paid for it? To have the financial freedom to dedicate your time and energy solely to your art? So this is where the business side of art comes in. It's the bridge that connects your passion for creating with your dream of financial independence. So basically both of them go hand in hand together. But here's the catch. You can't just learn about business strategies and expect to become a millionaire overnight, right? Just like creating a stunning piece of art, mastering the business side of art requires time, dedication, and most importantly, the right mindset. Think about the last time you felt supercharged about a piece you were creating. You were full of energy, enthusiasm, and a burning desire to share your creation with the world. That's the kind of mindset you need to approach your art business with. Imagine going about your art business with the same excitement and passion you have when creating your art. Posting about your work on Instagram, communicating with potential buyers, organizing exhibitions, all of these things can be fun and exciting if you approach them with the right mindset, of course, because otherwise it could be super tedious. And trust me, it shows. People can definitely sense your passion and enthusiasm, and they're attracted to it. And more often than not, that enthusiasm translates into sales and art opportunities. So are you ready to embrace the side of your art career? Are you ready to give your art the platform it deserves? If your answer is yes, then let's dive deeper into why you need to really get to grips with the business side of art. First, you need to understand that the art world and the business world are two sides of the same coin. So in the contemporary art world, you may feel like you're walking a tight rope between your passion for creativity and the practicalities of basically surviving and thriving financially, right? Yet in reality, they are not mutually exclusive concepts. Instead, the art world and the business world are two sides of the same coin. Bear in mind that art is, among many other things, a business, and that's totally fine. Look, art is a beautiful yet very challenging thing, but if you really stop and think about it, any profession is just like this. Basically, it's all business. Whether you're a dentist or teacher, mechanic or musician, there, there are skills you've honed, and then there is the business side of the things. You know, you might not have signed up for the later when you decided to, you know, become an artist, but that doesn't make it any less significant. The truth is, the business side of art matters just as much as the creative side. As an artist, you're not just creating, you're also selling. You're an artist brand, you're a business. Your art is your product, basically. And you're not just selling paintings or sculptures or prints. You're also selling yourself, your vision and your talent. So why should artists learn about business? Well, simple. Basically, without understanding the business side of things, you won't be able to support yourself as an artist. You'll be just another creative person with a passion for expression, but no means to pursue it. That's why understanding business is so crucial. Not only will understanding the business side of art will help you monetize your passion, it will also empower you to stand on your own two feet. You won't be left at the mercy of galleries or patrons. You'll be able to basically control your own art career in your own terms. But what does it mean to learn business skills as an artist? Well, it involves a range of things. 
So it's about marketing your work, creating an artist brand, understanding the art market, setting the right price for your work is super important. It also contains networking, negotiation, contracts, understanding copyright laws, and so much more. So when you embrace the business side of art, you open up a world of possibilities. You gain the power to create your own opportunities rather than just waiting for them to find you. You will learn how to strategically place your work in the market, how to reach your target audience, and how to generate a consistent income from your art. One of the keys to this is building a strong online presence. As you know, in today's digital age, your online presence is just much more than just a digital portfolio. It's basically your brand, your voice, your platform. It's the tool you use to connect with your audience, to tell your particular story, to sell your art. Social media platforms, particularly Instagram, have become powerful tools in this respect. Because they are not just platforms for sharing pictures. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you business. never miss So the business episode. side of art is still something to be scared of, it's rather disagree. something to be embraced. And it doesn't detract from the creative side of your work. It basically supports it. It helps you reach your goals and push your boundaries. It gives you the freedom to pursue your passion and make a living from it. So forget about this huge contradiction that there is in the art world of, oh, if you're interested in making money as an artist, then your art should be not good as if you're not interested in making money, which is absolutely ridiculous because if you don't have your financial needs covered to begin with, how, you, how can you even create art? How can you survive? Remember, just like your art, your business journey is unique to you. There is no one-size-fits-all strategy here. And that's where I come in. As an artist consultant, I can help you guide you through this unfamiliar territory, teaching you the skills and strategies you need to make your art business a success. I'll be there every step of the way, cheering too. So if you want to work with me, head to the link to my website down below. And as always, see you next week.